Hello everyone, we're back here from our GTA 5 video. This is a update video on the summer DLC and what is to come for Grand Theft Auto 5 and Red Dead Redemption. This can all be exciting or saddening for some po some folks. So a lot of people are going to be sad when they hear this and a lot of people are going to be happy. Let's see what side of the fence you are on and more. Let's get into it. But as first, as always, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and please go ahead and join the GTA Discord server. The link will be in the in the description. Plus, I will have my Minecraft Discord server link in the description. So let's get right on into this. Alright, so as we all know, Rockstar released two DLCs for Red Dead and GTA Online in the summer and the winter of every year. Those are our two big DLCs. Well, that's that time of year again. Of It's summer of 2022, and we're about to get our DLC. So let's go ahead and talk about what's going on. Let's start out with... A week or so ago when the new benefits of GTA Plus came out on the Xbox Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5 expanded and enhanced version of Grand Theft Auto 5 you got a casino paint house for free you got uh, 100% guaranteed that you would get diamonds as the main target in the casino heist. Uh, if you do that heist all the way between July 1st and July 18th. So that gave us big hints right there that the new DLC would come out on July 19th, the very following day on that Tuesday. Well, today, here it is, here it is, y'all, just a few days later, or just a few days later, here it is Thursday for y'all. This video is recorded today on Thursday for y'all. Uh, we got two news wires from Rockstar stating, and the first one, that the GTA community... A, the GTA community, the new event week, will last from today until July 18th. Once again, that is July 18th, just like the GTA Plus current membership deal that is going on, on at this time. Okay, so... Once again, that's going on to July 18th. What they are getting, what every player is getting, doesn't matter if you have GTA Plus or not, you can get 18% chance of getting a the diamonds as the targeting mode in the casino heist. You get 18% there, 30% money, and 30% of things like paintings, they said. Uh, uh, but I know it's 18% of of diamonds, so that is 100%. I think it's okay, but I just don't think it's kind of cool that, you know, GTA Plus members, you know, I mean, it's, they're paying $6, and they they get 100% guarantee aid, uh, diamonds, and also it's some races, R, double RP, and double money. And also the casino missions. So that's pretty much all it for the event week. But that's going on until July 18th. Now they did follow up with another article today. Telling us something very big and huge about GTA and Red Dead Redemption. And this is all good for Grand Theft Auto folks. But Red Dead Redemption, y'all are taking a backseat to Rockstar. Y'all have taken a big step down on what they call priority and what is not their priority. Hey. They will continue at least some game modes, uh, event 
months. So, like, where Grand Theft Auto, there's event weeks. Y'all's event stuff will last for a month long before y'all see a new event going on. It won't be major stuff. They're not going to be really focusing on supporting y'all anymore. That's what they kind of put out in their newswire. But they want to sit there and say thank you for everyone that understands and all that lovely stuff. But bottom line is, they're basically telling us, Red Dead, we're not really supporting you no more. Uh, it's over. We done what we did with y'all. And that's it. Y'all done. Y'all faded out. Um, Grand Theft Auto V, they do got some major stuff coming in the future. Now, they did confirm about the summer DLC. And it's a very short weeks to come so that means the countdown is on guys the countdown is on as far as when the dlc is to come to grand theft auto which will be july 19th once again that is july 19th 2022 and everyone thought it was going to involve michael DeSanta. some people thought it was going to be out under underground fight club and all this great, wonderful stuff. Those rumors were really great. You know, I loved hearing y'all's uh, thoughts on it. I love, you know, getting y'all's debates. There was a lot of talks about it in the GTA 5 community. That was very cool to see. Hey, but, obviously, that's not going to happen according to Rockstar. You know, maybe the winter DLC will bring Michael to Santa. That's no guarantees but the summer DLC is just not happening hey, for Michael DeSanta he's not coming into GTA online but what we are looking at getting is an extension to the nightclub and our motorcycle club with some extra missions and stuff like that we should find out more in a couple days uh, we don't know if that's going to bring new properties to the game or not. Hopefully that will. We don't really know. Mostly stu mostly DLCs that come with new properties uh, come in, in the winter DLC updates. Uh, last really good summer update we got was back when the tuners stuff came out out and that was a few years ago and that was the best summer DLC that's when we got the LS car meet we got our auto shops all that great wonderful stuff but I like to know what side of fence are y'all on are y'all for Red Dead are y'all for GTA what are y'all thoughts it's gonna be very cool to see what the GTA 5 community does and how y'all handle the thoughts of what they're saying of Red Dead is basically taking a back seat and nothing is going to be done to help the Red Dead community anymore. So I like to know y'all's thoughts in the comments below and also join the Discord server, chat it up there, tell us all your thoughts. It'd be kind of cool to see what y'all are saying. Other than that, it's your guy, it's GTA King, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace out. I'm gone.